Oh no, chat. Okay, wait, wait. Let me. Uh. A disaster. It wouldn't be a gloom stream if there wasn't a disaster. Oh my goodness, chat, can you hear me? I'm, di I'm dying. I'm dying. It would not be, it would not be a gloom stream if something terrible didn't happen. I had such a cute intro too. <laughs> Wait, we'll just do it again. <laughs> We're gonna do it again? Yeah. <laughs> okay, 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 acting, acting. Hello guys, welcome to the stream. Oh, oh, there, oh, you, I, I haven't seen you before. I haven't seen you before. Wow, wowie, oh, you're a dog. Is it true? Is it true you're a dog? Okay, put him down, poor thing. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about something very important, okay? Because this Roblox story game, she came out, she came out strong, and uh, I can't believe, I can't believe 680,000 visits. This, this game has more visits than my video of it has. <laughs> um, the game is more popular than I am. Um, okay, please, please, Anjing, I'm trying to stream. Please, bud. Okay, so. It says here that the game is based on a true story. And I want, I want to tell you guys that story. Please, Angie, you're killing me, bud. He's playing with his squeaky toy. I don't want you guys to think that... <laughs> okay. I don't want you guys to think that um, I put based on a true story just you know, for, for the fun of it, you know, like just for some clickbait. I want to tell you guys the real story behind Slumber Party Story. Wait, wait. What? what? You can't tell them that one. This is a story that I didn't want to tell people for... It's freaky. For years, because it's... First of all, it doesn't really align with my belief set. And, and it's a bunch of crap. Exactly. So yeah. I don't expect you to believe it, first of all. I don't expect you to believe it. I'd almost prefer if you didn't believe it. I, I don't know, but all I know is that this happened to me, and not just to me, to a few different people, and I'm going to play the game while I tell you guys about it. Um, first of all, just some uh, just some random stuff about uh, the game. The game was made by me, Eric, Mori, and Nadia. Um, the game has a lot of like silly things in it. For example, this bear. I don't like old lady. I did a lot of like, uh, I did the voice lines for this bear and it, it, it has funny lines in it like, you know, get all your friends to buy me too, but I just want you guys to know that um, the profit for this game is going to the young developers who helped me make this game. I am not taking any of it. I don't like old ladies. Um, just let me know that you guys can hear me. Uh, let, let me know that you guys can hear me and that you can um, hear the game as well. And we will get it started. Hopefully we get her started before too many people notice that I am in this lobby. Thankfully, the good thing about this game is that um, only five people can play it at once. So it's not going to be the kind of thing where I'm getting absolutely bombarded. You can hear both? Okay, perfect. Okay, so we're going to get in this game and I'm going to tell you slumber party story. Ah! Okay, I'm going to tell you the actual story. Um... Are we all here? A chat, are we ready? Are we ready for the story? I'm not trying to stall. I just want to make sure that everybody's here. You can hear me. You can hear the game. No more technical difficulties. No more me making a complete fool of myself on the internet as I always do. Yes? Okay. Okay, the story, guys. It's, it's a doozy. Okay, so. Maybe I can tell it. Um with the dif different sequences in the game, but this, this game is very loosely based on it. The heart of the real story that happened in real life is where this came from, but obviously we had to like kidify it a little bit because it is a Roblox game. So, um, this is what happened. Back in the day, okay, I was 17 years old. I, I was a young chicken, okay? I was a whippersnapper. And I was at home one night, I was making some wings cooking some wings as one does. It was really late at night. It was like maybe like around 3.30 a.m. I was just cooking up some wings. And my brother comes home. And okay, is it confusing like with like, like the dialogue and stuff here? Maybe I'll like, I'll zoom up on the dialogue a little bit so like you can't see it. 
oopsie daisies. Huh? No? I don't know. I just don't want to, I don't want like to be telling two stories at once. Okay, okay, okay. So basically I'm making wings. It's 3 a.m., right? My brother comes home and I was like, hey, would you like some wings? I'm cooking some, I'm cooking way too many wings. Like that's a thing I do. I, I, I've cooked, I'm cooking a lot of wings up for you. All right. And my brother just looks at me. He looks terrified and he runs up to his room and he slams the door. So I was like, okay, this is a little bit, this is a little bit crazy. Like this is actually a little bit crazy. Like why is he running to his room, slamming the door? He never says no to wings. That's just very not like my brother. So I kind of sneak up to his room as a little sister does. And I hear that he's talking to somebody. So I listen in on his door and I hear that he's on the phone with a friend. And my brother says, I saw this lady this lady on a bicycle she was on it well th th it was very fragmented the way he was saying it because he was like really freaked out but essentially he was saying oh like the things that i caught were old lady bicycle she had no eyes and i was like uh okay like what this like this has got to be like a prank like maybe he's trying to scare me maybe he's trying to scare his friend so I, I didn't really think too much of it. Like obviously I was 17, so I was a little bit spooked, but I went downstairs and I just like ate my wings and it was fine, right? Like never heard of it again. It's very important for you guys to know in this story that my family, like we lived in like a pretty nice house um, on the west side and then we had some family problems. So we moved into a duplex after that. The duplex, we lived in there for a year and then I wanted to live on the north side of my town so we got a, we got like a house on the north side that we didn't really know much about. Hey, the girl actually spun. Sometimes she just bikes backwards. Anyways, so I'm living in this creepy house. And by creepy, I mean the basement was an unfinished basement that had a spectator window in it. Do you know what I mean by a spectator window, chat? Like it, the, the, there, there was a window to a room, like a window where you're like, you can stand on one side of the window and see what's going on in the room. It kind of looked like Saw. You know what I mean, right? You don't know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, how do I explain this better? This house, the basement of this house looked like some weird stuff went down. Like that it, it, had, it, it had this white room with a window and you could see into that white room from the other side of the basement. Like this, this room, yeah, it looked like an interrogation room chat. Um, yeah, it was one side. Okay, 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 you guys get it now. So, um, it was a creepy house, right? And y you guys know Twinkie, he's a very, very chill dog. He was a very chill dog. He would never usually like freak out about anything. Um, but in that house, Twinkie would always cry. He never wanted to be alone. There were often times where he ran all the way up the stairs and hid under my mom's bed which is something that Twinkie never did before. Like Twinkie lived 16 years, right? He never did that before living in that house and he never did that after living in that house. Um, my mom said that she, like some weird stuff happened to her sometimes. Like sometimes she'd be laying in her bed and like her bed would start shaking. And I was like, okay, mom, like that's, that's cute. Like, thanks a lot for that. Um, and I didn't believe that that happened until one time I took a sick day. I was watching like Wizards of Waverly Place on the Disney channel and then the bed started shaking, but I just likened it to like the heat or something. All of this to say the house was a little bit creepy, um, but I never like, I, I'm not inclined to believe those kinds of things. So when my brother was talking about this bicycle lady on the phone, I assumed he was just trolling. So. My brother, moved to uh, my brother moved to Vancouver after that. Fast forward a few weeks ahead. I'm, I'm 17, right? Like, I'm 17. I liked the North Side. I liked the boys on the North Side. Um, and this is another reason why, you know, this story, like, couldn't be perfectly adapted to Roblox. <laughs> so I'm hanging out with a boy on the North Side. Um, it's getting really, really late, like around 2.30 a.m. And so I call my sister and I'm like, hey, will you come pick me up? My sister doesn't want to come pick me up because she's with her friend. One of her friends I know very well, the other two I don't talk to anymore, but she was with uh, a girl and two guys. And um, they were like, no, Cass, we don't want to pick you up. Like, no, like, find your own way home. Like, the guy you're with, I'm sure he drives. And I was like, please, can you come pick me up? Like, I don't want to be like, can you drive me home? 
So um, I eventually convinced them to come pick me up. And <laughs> I don't know how, okay, so when I get into the car, guys, when I get into the car, oh, everybody died so I can't pass the game, but it's fine. I'm telling you guys the story anyway. When I get into the car, my sister, her friend, and the other two guys look like they're absolutely terrified. And I was like, what the hell happened? Like, what happened? And my sister said, okay, so we're driving. We live in a small town, right? We know this town like the back of our hand. My sister's like, we're driving. We turn the corner on a street. We don't know where we are suddenly, which is fine. Like we, we knew we were gonna find our way, but up off into the distance, we saw this lady on a bicycle. And I was like, what's wrong with a lady on a bicycle? And they were like, she looked like, we saw her from like the back as we were approaching and it kind of looked like she was rotting. <laughs> like it kind of looked like she was rotting a little bit. Kind of looked like she was levitating a little bit. And I didn't really like, I didn't really believe them. So I was like, okay, like, did you guys talk to my brother? Like, are you guys like all doing this elaborate prank on me? And then my sister was like, no, I didn't talk to him at all. Like. Like our brother saw her too, this lady on the bike. Like all of us have seen her. And I was like, well, I haven't, but like, are you sure that you guys aren't trolling me? And um, so essentially what happened is my sister, her best friend, these two guys in the back, they're driving to come pick me up. The lady's off in the distance. They all see this lady. Everybody screams and ducks, except for my sister who can't because she's driving. So my sister ends up driving past this lady and ends up looking her in the eyes. And my sister says, I'm the only one who saw it, but this lady, her eyes, they, they were a mess. Like they were an absolute mess. And I, like, I thought that maybe this was just like a crazy thing. Like, you know, like maybe my family, like me and my family have like problems where we like hallucinate or something. So I thought it was really strange how, Le actually, I don't know if I should say her real, real name, but I have to screw it. I, I thought it was very strange how Lana also saw this lady. And like to this day, Lana was like, yes, we, we saw this lady. Um, so that's like one, that's like five, five people who've seen this lady. Um, anyways, so that night, my sister's friends go home. No, that, it was, this was the next night. So my sister's friends weren't there. Uh, me and my sister sleep in the same bed because I, I was spooked, okay? I was a little scared. Is this like glitched? Oh, I think I was the only person who loaded in. I'll try it again. So me and my sister are sleeping in the same bed, right? Um, which is which actually wasn't unordinary for us. We, we liked sleeping in the same bed a lot because um, I got scared easily. So by that, I mean I liked sleeping in the same bed with her a lot. <laughs> um, so we're sleeping. My sister wakes up and like, I, I, I want you guys to keep in mind that I would never lie about my late sister. Um, so just keep that in mind. So we're sleeping in the same bed. My sister wakes up and a voice is telling her to go to the basement of our house. Um, she gets up and she just starts walking there, right? Like that's where like the, um, when people woke up with black eyes in this game and start heading to the lady's house, that's where that was inspired from. Um, so my sister starts heading to the basement. Once she gets to the very top of the stairs, she starts kind of like getting a little spooked that this is even happening. Um, so she starts resisting the voice and in resisting the voice, she got really nauseous. And so, you know what happens when you get really nauseous. My sister ran to the washroom and she started throwing up. Her throwing up woke me up. And I was like, what are you, what are you doing throwing up in the middle of the night? And she was like, I feel like there was this voice that was telling me to go to the basement. Like, I think I'm going crazy. And I was like, uh, we should wake up mom. Um, so <laughs> me and my sister run, we wake up my mom. My mom like usually is like, like, you, she, like she's like a stern Asian mom, right? So usually she's like, guys, go to bed. Um, but she like, she, my mom really felt like something actually was wrong. Um, so we all slept in the same bed and the rest of that night was fine. Fast forward to the next night. Me, my sister, and my mom are sleeping in the same bed. My brother had moved to Vancouver and my dad was in Saudi Arabia. So there was just three of us, just three of us girls. 
just doing girl things, <laughs> sleeping in the same bed together in the master bedroom because, you know, my parents had a big bed. Um, so it's me, my sister, and my mom. We're just like sleeping there, right? I wake up in the middle of the night, which wasn't entirely like unregular for me. Like, you know, everybody wakes up in the middle of the night sometimes, like sleep cycles or whatever. I check the time and I'm like, please don't let it be 3 a.m. Because, you know, I just watched Exorcism of Emily Rose and like, I don't want it to be like, I don't want it to be like a 3 a.m. moment. I look at the clock and it's exactly 3 a.m. Could have been a coincidence, right? Um, <laughs> so I decide that I'm too scared to go back to sleep because I woke up at exactly 3 a.m. So I lean over my sister to wake up my mom. And as I'm leaning over my sister to wake up my mom, I look down at my sister and my sister's eyes are wide open and they're staring at me. I thought maybe she was just sleeping with her eyes open. Um, so I moved a little bit more hasty to wake up my mom and my sister's eyes, they followed me, dude. And I will never forget, like I will never forget for the rest of my life, what that was like. Um, it was terrifying. It's just one of those things that I can't really explain. Um, I'm not gonna like base my whole worldview on what happened that fateful night, uh, but it, it's it, it's a weird it's a weird thing to, it's a weird thing to think about when I think about it. And um, I, over the years, I've like kind of tried to verify the existence of this bicycle lady. I've been like, yo, like uh, you know, like Lana, are you sure that you saw her? And uh, Lana's like, I've talked to the boys that we were with like numerous times that night, like we all saw her. And then every time I talk to my brother about it, like, you know, it's been, it's been years since then. So I'm like, to my brother, like, yo, was that a lie? You know, like, was that like a prank? And my brother's like, no, it's not. It's not. That said, nothing like too crazy happened to me. Um, I just saw her, you know, like I did look her in the eyes. There, my brother did have like a stroke of bad luck after it happened, but like that could have just been a coincidence, right? Um, so <laughs> I, I don't really want to like get into like the, like the way that that whole story like ended, but when we moved out of that house, it was like totally fine. Um, also, uh, like <laughs> I also kind of wanted to tell you like an anecdote about another weird thing that happened in that house. So you know how, um, my sister's eyes were like open and she was like watching me while I was sleeping. Apparently I did that to somebody else in that house. So a girl slept over at my house and um, she was like checking my texts in the middle of the night, something she never would usually tell me. But the next day she was like, yo Cass, were you like awake last night? And I was like, what do you mean? She was like, when I was like looking at your phone, were you awake? And I was like, no. What? You were looking at my phone? Why were you looking at my phone? She was like looking through my texts and uh, she was like, okay, well I went, I went in to look, at, look, to look through your texts and uh, like the lighting from the phone screen, my little razor back in the day, it like lit my face up just enough that she could tell that I like my eyes were open and I was staring at her. And she thought I was awake just being creepy. So she was like, Cass, I'm sorry. And then I just kept like, like I, I just kept staring at her. And then she like backed away slowly and she would never usually tell me that she was looking through my texts, but she was so spooked that the next day she was like, okay, like, listen, I gotta come clean. I was looking through your texts. Now you have to tell me, you have to come clean to me and tell me that you were awake for that. And I was like, yo, I was not, I was not awake for that. <laughs> Sorry about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that's so, Basically, um, in this game, the lady on the bicycle was, or the, the old lady, she was supposed to be a lady on a bicycle, but while we were developing the game, the putting an old lady in Roblox on a bicycle is so comical that it kind of killed like the scary part of the game. You know what I mean? Like a slumber party didn't really happen at all in the real story. But I thought that slumber party would be like a cute way for like these people to experience this thing together and to have these dark eyes when they wake up in the middle of the night. Um, I did make this game. I made it with uh, Now Do the Harlem Shake and Maury Cleric. And we made it in a week. So that's why like if you see any bugs, that's definitely, <laughs> that's definitely why. Um, it's definitely not perfect. 
and Maury and Eric, they worked so hard. Like, I, I helped with the building. Um, I wrote the script. Um, obviously, I helped with promo because I'm a YouTuber. That's what I do. Uh, but uh, all of the coding was done by Eric. And uh, Maury was also, he helped me build and he helped um, do uh, troubleshooting and play testing as well. Um, there were flowers, guys, that I put in this game to like try to make the neighborhood pretty, which doesn't even matter for anything because the game is so dark. I put these flowers in and the flowers have had so many viruses, it took us like an hour to remove all of the scripts. So you have to be careful in Roblox when you're making a game with the toolbox. Because you can definitely, uh, you can definitely put some viruses in your game. Also, like, there, there was, like, I, I think that this, like, fountain killed you. We had to take the script off of that. I, I think the blood did damage. Um, <laughs> there, there were a lot of problems, like, with, like, other people's, like, stuff that they made that you put in the game. Um, but yeah, that's the story. I don't, like, I, I don't want you guys to, I don't expect you guys to believe it. Um, it's probably better if you don't because it's just an anecdote from one person, right? Like, I could be lying, so... Um, this blood does damage, though. <laughs> we gotta look for the key. We gotta look for the key. I hope that this isn't your first watch of this game chat, and that, like, you've seen videos of it, because I'm just, like, telling the bicycle lady story. There it is. <laughs> Tru <laughs> Truthfully, chat, if somebody told me the bicycle lady story, I wouldn't believe it, so... I won't be offended if you don't believe it. It's just like one of those things. It's just one of those things that I can't really explain that happened to me in my life. And I've told the Discord it a few times and like sometimes we tell each other ghost stories and every time someone tells me a ghost story, you know, like I believe it with a, a grain of salt because it's not good to just like believe everything you hear. So I was a little bit, <laughs> I was a little bit conflicted about telling the story because I didn't want you guys to like be like, I don't know. I, I, I didn't want to put you guys in a position where I'm like, you have to believe me. <laughs> <laughs> it is sus. It is sus. But, that being said, that's what this game was based off of. Um, just like these young kids, right? Just like, having a little party at the beginning at the club, going home, having a slump, like having to leave the house for something, seeing this thing, and then weird things happening after. That's the skeleton of like, the, like that's where the inspiration for this game came from. And I hope it wasn't too convoluted when I told the story. I got a little nervous when I was like trying to tell it. Like usually when I tell it in voice chat, it's a lot more um, eloquent, let's say. I believe it because, oh. Like, <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to. Am I the only one who's terrified? Honestly, I, um, I told a friend of mine the bicycle lady story and uh, that friend, they, uh, basically, they like when I was telling the story, we saw this lady off in the distance with a bicycle, but then she came up to us and she was just like a normal, just a normal lady just trying to get home. <laughs> this could be a movie, you could be in it with your family. Oh my goodness. Super yeah. chat. Do weird things still happen to you? No. And like, that like that was a weird thing that besides like waking up and like seeing the eyes in the middle of the night like th like nothing weird has ever happened to me firsthand like i didn't see the bicycle lady just my brother my sister and three other people did do you ever look at the window in your old house um i i feel like they've renovated it i actually looked up that house because i wanted to see like if people were still living in that house and it was actually on sale when I looked, it was like for sale when I looked at it the other day. So I'm like, it makes me wonder, you know, like if people tried to live there and then they moved out because that's not a very long amount of time to live in that house. But I imagine that they renovated it and made it look a lot better because when I looked at the outside of the house, it like definitely looked a lot better. When we moved in, it was like, it was kind of a disaster. Um, yeah, I mean when it comes to like haunted stuff, I'm not like I'm not inclined to believe so I just think this is like a fun story to tell Just for you know giggles Waking up at 3 a.m. is scary man. It happened to me. I hate I hate when it happens 
I was a lot more scared of it when I was younger because <laughs> I was like a little bit more superstitious. But when it happens now, I don't really think about it. I keep seeing things. Do you have nightmares about it? I've actually never had a nightmare about it. It's just something that I think about. It's something that I think about, especially when I'm like um, thinking about like my worldview, like the things that I believe, like trying to like make sure it's consistent. Because like, you know, I'm, I'm inclined to believe like, I'm inclined to believe like evidence-based stuff. So it's like, it's like that thing that kind of contradicts everything. Am I lagging for you guys? I would be scared. I'm not really scared. I think I'm not scared because I'm not there anymore. <laughs> and like every, everywhere I've lived since then has been completely fine. How often do you think about it? Uh, not that often. It's just kind of like, it's that thing that, it's that story that I tell when like people are telling ghost stories. I'm like, oh, here's mine. Um, I don't think it, I don't think it like it's not like debilitating or anything. It's just like one of those things. It's like a cool anecdote to me at this point. Last night that happened to me. How scary was the lady? I never saw her. So I've tried to get like um, like from Lana and my brother. I tried to get like like vivid descriptions of what she looked like, and apparently she was just like this old like like you could tell like from far away that she just like she looked like she was up to no good. <laughs> Are you afraid of opening up your eyes at night? Not really. Like, how could you be afraid of opening up your eyes when you have like a dog, you know? I would honestly have nightmares. There were actually, there was a time last year when I woke up and um, I vividly heard my brother's voice call me out to the living room. And so I went out to the living room and I was just like standing there in my underwear. <laughs> like, just like, huh? Um, but I think it was just like a dream. I don't think it was anything crazy. What do you think the lady would look like? I, I think she, like, like white dress, white dress, like smile on her face, like kind of weathered teeth, like hollowed out eyes, like no eye whites. I think is the main thing. So when we were looking for the model in this game, it was very much like a she can't have eye whites. Like the model that we found um, had like eyes, and so Eric like put these like black blocks on her to like make it. Do you think about this lots? Not, not a ton. Just kind of only when it's relevant. Have you ever said anything creepy to Terry? Um, Terry's like a very, like Terry's very, very like reasonable guy. Like I, I think that even Terry like doesn't really believe it and I don't need him to. He's just very like, he's very, like Terry's very evidence-based. And so he just thinks that like, you know, it's just an anecdote. And also because it happened so long ago, like um, the human memory is like not very good. Uh, when I made this parkour, I could not, I could not beat it. I couldn't guys, I actually couldn't. And it's so funny cause like, I, I thought that maybe it was unbeatable. <laughs> But then Eric came in and he like beat it with 40 seconds left and I was like, okay, I just suck. I just like need to get better at parkour, but I really wanted like a dream sequence, like a really um, kind of whimsical stuff that, oh, stuff that has like reference to like things mentioned in the game, the gummy bear part of the obby. Um, what's your scariest nightmare? My scariest nightmare is actually like, it's like a nightmare where it's like a sensory, it's not really anything, like it's not like a guy with a mask, it's like sensory overload. It, like imagine like all the sand in the ocean just like being poured at the same time, like on top of you. It's like kind of like that sensory overload kind of stuff, like stuff that like you can't hear, you can't see, it's like. <laughs> There's this like dream that I have, like the one that I was just describing. And when I have it, I wake up and like my hands feel like, like they feel like crunchy and hard and like glassy and sore. It only really happens lately when I'm sick. I used to have that nightmare a lot when I was little, but I can't really explain to you guys what it was. 
What's up with my skin in the game? Uh, I chose yellow because I didn't really like um, the options. I felt like they didn't have an option that was reflective of me. They need to make more shades in this in this game, like skin color shades, I think. All my dreams are in black and white, you're right. I used to have sensory overload attacks. Okay, so it's not just me. I don't have sleep, I've never had sleep paralysis, thank goodness, but my brother has. And I really don't wanna, I really don't wanna have it. <laughs> like the whole idea of it makes me really nervous. Are you and Terry getting married? Yes. How did you make this game? I didn't, I actually have so much respect for everybody, even the people who make like really like games that I've played in Roblox where I'm like, oh, this game is garbage. Like I have respect for everybody who tries to make a game in Roblox. Cause like I watched the whole coding process and it is very tough. It's very time consuming. I never figured out where that old lady lived. <laughs> never, uh, I never saw her. And I don't know if she had anything to do with that house. All I know is that creepy stuff happened. Like, all the creepy stuff that happened was when we, like, lived in that house. Since then, I've been completely fine. Like, nothing's happened. What's the name of the game? The name of the game is Slumber Party Story. That's not a surprise that Gloom and Terry are gonna get married. Yeah, yeah, we've been together a long time. I've been out of my mind a long time. Come on, open. Gabby, put in some work, girl. We can't be checking the same cupboards. Girl. Oh, no, 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 please, please, please. Why won't you open? Why won't you open? Oh, oh, Gabby, do me a solid, girl. Ah. You failed to find the key in time. Unlucker dog. Definitely wanted to make the game like not too easy. <laughs> Cause it's more satisfying when you like worked hard and you can beat something. I actually kind of want to see something. I want to try this. Speaking of like scary stuff, you know? I wanna try Paranormica. Apparently it's like Phasmophobia. How long did this game take? It took a week. Paranormica. Go check the whiteboard for any lobby she might be able to join. Or just click create lobby and make your own. She took a week. Oh no. Where do I go? I like the little Christmas lights. Do you have one of those dreams where you can't scream? No, but I've had the dreams where like it feels like you're fighting underwater, but I feel like everyone's had those. Yo, why is this so empty? Do I have to go somewhere? Is there like a flashlight I can buy? Oh my. No, no ma'am, no sir. Are you scared? No. No, I don't, I don't get scared during the day. I get a little spooked at night, but not as much as when I was younger. Like I said, like I slept in the same bed as my sister for like a lot of my life because I got scared really easily. But I feel like I've kind of like desensitized a lot. Like gore doesn't really bother me. Like jump scares don't really bother me that much. The only thing that really bothers me is um, like real life stuff. Like if I'm watching like a documentary and like something bad happens. Oh. Oh. Oh wait, no, I should have joined the, I should have joined the more full one. Oh my goodness, this is like the truck and everything. But how do we buy supplies? Like, do we even have any, like, do I have, like, I have no money, so am I going in this house by myself? One sec, I'm gonna join a more full one. My favorite horror movie? I like um, 28 Days Later. It's my favorite. I like the soundtrack, I listen to it a lot. Go check the whiteboard for any lobby she might be able to join. Okay, okay, let's get in. Just click create let's get in. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you for the compliment. I got new lighting. Ah, I got new lighting. Ah. <laughs> it looks so good. Sometimes I'm like really insecure of um, like my skin, but I think it looks pretty good. Ah. Oh no, it failed. What do you mean? Bacon heads lobby. That looks like fun. Please let me in. Oh, why is this so buggy? Nice, awesome, Nathan. Are they just like leaving the lobby because they're like, who is this? Get her out of here. <gasps> no. Do you think creepy stuff will happen to the people who live there? I'm not sure. Maybe we were like a little bit more sensitive to it. You ever hear like that theory that some people are more sensitive to like paranormal stuff than others? Oh, there's lots of lobbies here. Please teleport me there. Thank you. Can you play the maze? Oh my god, I tried that last time, guys, and it was a disaster. Has anyone judged you for being Canadian? No. <laughs> I can't say I've ever been judged for being Canadian. Can we go? Like, what do we do? Oh, I have to ready up. Oh, I have to buy items. Um, okay, well, I at least need a strong flashlight. Oh, it's just a flashlight. Okay, I'm getting that. I'm getting a flashlight and a thermometer. I can't afford a thermometer. I'm gonna get a spirit book. Perfect. We did it. We did it. There's a ghost in my house. <laughs> what are you playing? I'm playing um, a, like a phasmophobia coffee because I, I love phasmophobia. What is this like light? On the, what the? Okay, what is this? I'll sit up a little. Ugh. I don't know why I've never played Roblox. It's fun. I, I just like it. I like the creativity involved with Roblox. Like, I like how it's just, like, mini games. I think it's really fun. I know that a lot of it, it's, like, a lot of games and stuff are, like, kind of cringe, including the game that we made. Um, but that's kind of the fun of it. It's kind of like your inner child, you know? Just letting her out. Do we all have to ready up? Come on, let's go. Hello? Let's go! What is the room name? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Ugh. Do you plan on having kids? Not at this point, no. There's a lot of things that I would have to like um, prioritize in order to be ready to have kids. I feel like a lot of people just have kids because they feel like it's like a, a, a step in life. But kids aren't like Kids aren't like a, just a to-do list thing that you have to get done in life. Kids are something that I feel like you should make an active, conscious decision where you're going to put that kid first no matter what. And I, like, I'm not ready for that right now because I'm like enjoying my adulthood. I really love adulthood a lot. Like I, I love independence. And it's a, it's a lot already to have like a dog. Oh, if a dog's a lot for me, I feel like having a kid would be too much. <laughs> Disney Dog Gamer, Grace Webster, Barney Shit, there's Stinson, Barney Stinson. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chats and the kind words. Cowie Kiwi Gaming, Darson Tater Tot, Dawson, wow, I can't read. Dawson Tater Tot, Jaden McNair, Christian Lavely, Knight of Stars, Gillian Steffens, Parker Morton, Ulyssa Plays, Danica, Dej Lama, Journey B. Thank you so much for the super chat. Emily likes to sing, yeah! Thank you so much for the super chat. Anime and K-pop is my jam! Avery Keith, Emily Daniel, King Kwan, Big R, Dog Bo, Piggy Navarro, Adriana Eckberg, Grace Webster, M's of Fan Fiction, Moon Bear, Manatee Master, Devin Hunt, 
Disney Dog Gamer, IFX Force, and Disney Dog Gamer, thank you so much for the super chat. Hi, Savannah. Hi, Savannah. Oh, it's big! It's big, Disney Dog Gamer. Once everybody's done and made their guesses, everybody should head into the van and you'll be out. Is it? Did I just hear voice chat? Did I, did I just hear voice chat, fellas? Wait, I, why do I only have my journal? Is this all of our stuff? Where's our stuff? Uh, I'm dying, I'm dying. My flashlight. Whoa, why is this so jittery? Give me, oops. How do I put this down? I can't put it down. Sorry guys, stole two flashlights. What are you gonna do about it? All right, let's find this ghost. Oh my goodness, there's a basement? Gimme. I'm gonna find the, oh wait, I need my thermometer. I need my thermometer. How am I supposed to find a ghost with a thermometer? It's supposed to be cold. I can take the EMF maybe. Okay, the fact that I took two flashlights and I don't know how to put one down, like, <laughs> Yikers. Backspace? Okay, okay, okay. Huge. Thank you. Can I run the uh, flashlight and the EMF at the same time? Okay, this is so botched. A little scary in here. Just like switching back and forth between the flashlight and the EMF. This kind of looks like the asylum. Are you and Azzy still friends? Yes. Still friends with Nora too? Just because I don't collab with somebody doesn't mean that I'm not friends with them anymore. It just means that we're in the midst of a pandemic. Eat an open door? Oh. Yo. Oh my goodness. Oh. <gasps> Anyone have any info? Hello? I need some info. I'm scared. Is the dream really true? I don't know. You mean my story? Oh, with the dream? No. The uh, the parkour? No, I didn't have a dream where I did parkour and gummy bears, I wish. Are you gonna get another dog someday? Uh, the hope is to have two German Shepherds, but like, <laughs> girl. Girl, please. Freezing temps, we found it. We found it. Drop the book. Drop the book, boys. Drop the book. Drop the book, boys. Let's go. Gotta get out of here, we're gonna get killed. I don't think these guys have played real fast mode before. I ain't leaving. I don't know how to find my way back here. I have no clue what to do. Oh my good. Go to truck. Get the book. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Uh. Are there, are there freezing temps in here? This is what I want to know. Okay, there's no freezing temps in here. So this is this is where the ghost is. <laughs> He's cute, this guy. He like looks like the ghost. Imagine if this guy is just the ghost. Please. Please, these noises. Oh my gosh, thank you. This guy's carrying us. Oh, EMF three. EMF three, boys. Put the book down. Put it 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 down. 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 You put book. Put book down. Nice. Nice. All right, now we wait for this ghost to write in this here book. Super 
Oops. Oh. Okay, EMF3 again. We need more stuff. Um, I bought a third. Oh, wait, we don't need the thermometer. What do we need? What do we need? Write in the book. Write in the book. Somebody, please. Do we have any other supplies? When this thing hunts, we are dead. We are gone. We, this is it. Girl, what is that noise? Uh, all I have is a fuse in a bird cage. Okay, a bird cage. What are you gonna do with that? Ah! I have a spirit box, girl. Oh my god, use it. Yes. I don't want to be rude. Okay, yeah. Girl. Girl, 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 what the heck was that? Okay. Okay. Orange juice, do not put that lantern away. Do not. We need like a UV, like we need more supplies, but we can't because we're first time players. Like we need a UV light. We need, we need, we don't got the supplies to win this. Write in the book. Write in, write in the book, write in the book. Yo, I, I don't like it. I don't like it here. Wait, why did the freezing temps go away? Oh, they're here. Maybe it's this room. Is it this room? It's this hallway. This is where it is. I mean, I'm not leaving until somebody gets killed. I'll tell you that much. Too many, too many noises. EMF3, come on, boy. Let's get it. These noises are killing me. Are you gonna do YouTube when you're old? I mean, probably. <laughs> I already am. Uh, our brain power finna die before we get. Yeah, I mean, all the, like. The problem is we couldn't afford any supplies. We know it's here because freezing temp. But, like, if we got an EMF-5, then we could get out of here. If we got an EMF-5, we could guess, but I only have three. Like, we need, we need, a write, we need writing in the book. We need EMF five or writing in the book. What is he chewing on? Okay, this is, this is like, girl, 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 girl. Um. Did our bud just, our bud just died. Our bud just died. Yo, did our bud just die? He, he provided our, the light. Okay, so I'm getting the heck out of here. I'm getting out of here and I'm gonna guess. Okay, so there's no EMF-5. There's no EMF-5 and there's no uh, a book writing. But I think one time Scott told me it's either EMF-3 or 5. But I don't know how similar, Oh jeez, I, I don't know how similar. How do we get out of here? Yeah, get, get us out of here! Get us out of here! Please, please, bud. Oh my goodness! How'd you get back to the truck then? Okay, okay, we did it. We did it. We're just gonna guess, and then we're gonna write in the book. All the supplies we didn't bring. We, we we didn't bring anything, we couldn't afford anything. Really. Oh, there's a hunt going on. If our bud wasn't dead before, he's dead now. Um, okay, journal. Love it. I love how I can see his little ghost smiley face walking around. Okay, so we have 
Toxic? What the heck is toxic? What? Okay, we have freezing temps. We have... Spirit buff ghost orb. I I'm, I'm assuming we got ghost orb because we didn't test for that. And I'm gonna also assume it's toxic. Because I don't know what that is. Okay, that can't be. Maybe... Maybe EMF5? Like, maybe I just didn't have it out when there was a hunt. It's a Banshee. Okay, I'm gonna go with Banshee. Okay, please. All right, let's get out of here. How do we close this door? Please, get us out of here. Toxic if the bird dies. Oh! Oh! Uh. Poltergeist? Well, thank you very much, but I didn't, I didn't know. Uh. Okay, guys, I actually have to go. I have to go. I have to go. I have to go. I, I, I was in, 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 okay. Initially, I was planning on streaming for a very long time today, but something happened and I have to go. And by something happened, I mean... It, it, it cut my stream time down by a lot because I have to go. Like, I have to go see my mom. Savannah, Vivian, Emily likes to sing. A Avery, Keith, Knight of, Keith, Knight of Stars. Josh Fulton, thank you so much for the super chat. Savannah, Vivian, thank you. Ninja Squirrel, three. Thracha. Thank you so much for the super chat and the kind words. Alyssa Romero, Isla Guliano. Thank you so much. If you could try it. Isla Guliano. Isla Giuliano. Right? Meg Wheel, Real Monk Bot, Lila Garland, Jew Bun, Brianna, Larla, Daniel, Allen, and Gracie May. Thank you so much for the super chats and the kind words. Um, episodes of Riddles, maybe episode, I'm not sure, Riddles. Um, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. I know it was kind of a mess. Um, I, I don't know, what, like, it's, so, it's so bright here. It's so bright. There's like, there's light, there's light touching, touching me all over the place. I don't like it. Um, but yeah, sorry that the beginning of the stream was muted. Uh, we're gonna have to cut that down. Hey, Ter. <laughs> Good one. Or maybe not. I don't know. It depends how long it was. Who, who knows? Who knows? All right, guys. I will see you later. Goodbye. Love you. Mm.